Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Flynn and Freckles, ruined by lack of polish. Flynn and Freckles is a 5 hour long 3D platformer where you play as a pirate named Flynn off to capture the treasure of Captain Freckles, a coveted golden banana. The game starts out charming enough. You're on a brightly colored island, completing tasks for items, collecting chickens for some food that you can trade for a lantern to search a cave for an item to be able to set sail on your adventure. And even in this beginning tutorial level, you quickly discover you're in for a janky unpolished adventure. The level design of this game is actually really good. The platforming is challenging, it feels dated, which isn't a knock on the game, it's just how it is. It feels like you remember 3D platformers feeling. All the levels are varied, there's no hand holding in terms of game progression, but the bugs in this game as well as other choices just ruin this otherwise good game. For starters you have a life system. If you take 5 hits you have to restart from the checkpoint and switches reset themselves. You lose some of the coins you've collected, all this is fine, no big deal. What makes this an issue though is that you will take damage and die dozens if not hundreds of times and it not be your fault at all. It's the game's fault. The game's platform and assist which can be turned on and off will lead you to your death at times. The jump button or the attack button will randomly not work. There are cheap moments where any other game would give you the benefit of the doubt that you jumped on an item while it was rising out of the water that this game just doesn't give you. You'll take fall damage from tiny heights considering this is a platformer. But the worst is how many times you'll fall through the mat. Again, even the beginning spot which is usually where I feel most care is taken in game development had moments of me falling through the map, but I can usually look past hiccups. I can take cheap damage, that is if the game has forgiving checkpoints. This game however does not. There are plenty of moments in this game where getting through sections is painful, thanks not only to the data platforming, but the game's lack of polish, dealing cheap damage and undeserved deaths to you, puzzles and levers resetting themselves, making you go through these sections over and over again. I wanted to pull my hair out. There are a couple decent boss battles in here as well. I won't show footage from the final boss battle, but I also found it to be littered with bugs. I would fly through the air at spots and again fall back down to my death thanks to the fall damage. Flynn and Freckles could be a good game if it had some polish, but it doesn't so it's not. I give Flynn and Freckles a 4 out of 10. If you've played Flynn and Freckles, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe for new the channel. And thanks for watching. If you like this video please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive let's play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching and of course, stay beautiful.